Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Cathcart. Now, today I'm just going to had going around in my head, really, the idea of how we help our students, <coughs> excuse me, to become better note readers, more fluent note readers. Because, of course, by the time they get to an intermediate level, sort of grade three kind of level, um, they need to have a, a really uh, independent approach to reading notation because it's at that point that the technique gets harder um, and it's the coordination in particular between the two hands. The patterns have become less predictable. So it's so important that when they get to that intermediate level, they own their own reading. They're able to do the reading because that's the point where they often fall off, isn't it? That's the point where a lot of them actually stop learning and it's because they haven't really uh, taken ownership of their note reading. So, um, you know, there's lots of things that you can do. And of course, you will do um, lots of really positive things to help them with flashcards or games, online games, theory, all to help them become better note readers. And those are all really important. I think there's another really easy win, though, that we can do. And we probably neglect this a little bit, especially in the in the UK, in the exam based cultures. And that is to give them lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of easy pieces to play and to learn. So the tendency can be, once they get to grade one, or now as it is initial, to um, to give them three pieces. And those are the three pieces that they learn, possibly for six months, nine months, maybe even a year. Okay, let's look at what happens when they go to school and they are learning to read, okay? When they go to school, they're learning to read. Are they given three books to read for one entire year? And when they get to the end of it, they're told to start it again and get more fluent on the hard words? I think not. I think at school, they're given a new book pretty much every single week. And those books are very easy for them. They, have, they build up their skill in reading by using words that they are familiar with, along with the odd word that is new to them. And as they progress, as they cover one book after another, gradually the unfamiliar words become familiar and then new unfamiliar words are given. So why don't we do the same thing on the piano as well? Because this undoubtedly is a absolutely fail safe way of helping them to get better at reading, giving them regularly new pieces that they can play and they can understand themselves really, really does help them make big advances and become far more confident as readers. Um, and so when they get to that more advanced level, intermediate level even, then they're able to actually take ownership and do the reading. I think this is even more important at this particular moment in time where we, in the UK, we're all locked down again. Children are spending a lot of time, and I know teachers are telling us, you know, the children are tired, teachers are tired, I'm tired, you're tired, we're all tired. So let's not struggle, let's not give the kids something else. Um, let's not give them a reason to not go to the piano because something is too hard for them. Let's make the piano the easy place to go, the oasis, the place where they can go and really um, do something that feels good, purposeful and meaningful to them. So keep giving them lots and lots of pieces, really easy pieces, even easier than you think they should be. Just give them some pieces and see how they absorb them and how they love playing. And of course, part of this package can be pieces that they know that they'd love to learn themselves. So one of my young pupils yesterday, we've just had some snow here. And I said, oh, have you been out um, building snowmen? Oh, I, I built a snow penguin, she said. Oh, lovely. Um, but of course, we then tried to see if we could work out how to play. Um, do you want to build a snowman? And she just happened to have a book that had it in. And she, oh, I've got that, Sally. So there we go. Although it, the music itself is harder than she's seen before. It's a tune she knows. It's got all the notes she knows in it because it is simplified. And there she goes. She, I bet she, by this time next week, she'll have learnt it because she knows that piece. So a combination of easy pieces that um, they will not struggle with too much and pieces that are a little bit harder, but that they know absolutely a brilliant way of really helping them to improve their note reading. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you to everybody who's watching. I can see there's quite a few people out there watching. Thank you all so much. Uh, happy teaching. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.